Harry has nothing. Meghan's saying as King grants William $7.5 million per year after expelling Sussex from Frogmore. Royal family dropped their yearly financial reports on Thursday, revealing Prince William's annual salary and King Charles III's expenses. William, as per the Duchy of Cornwall report, receives nearly £6 million, which amounts to approximately $7.5 million a year, while Prince Harry was given nothing after stepping down. The Duchy is a private estate that provides an income to the Duke of Cornwall and his family to fund his official, charitable, and private activities. It is managed in harmony with the natural environment and for the benefit of its local communities so that it can be passed on with pride to the next generation. Kate Middleton's husband, William, was named the Duke of Cornwall, a title that previously belonged to his father, King Charles, in September 2022 when Charles assumed the throne as king following the demise of Queen Elizabeth. According to the report, the duchy was established through King Edward III's Great Charter of 1337 to bequeath land and various assets to his son, Prince Edward. The land, property, and other assets of the duchy and the proceeds of any disposal of assets are subject to the terms of the original charters and the Duchy of Cornwall Management Acts. These govern the use of the duchy's assets for the benefit of the present and future Dukes of Cornwall. The Prince of Wales, as the Duke of Cornwall, is entitled to the annual net revenue surplus of the duchy. Such funds help William, who is the 25th Duke of Cornwall, cover living expenses for his family and wife Princess Kate, including their three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. King Charles' household, according to U.S. Magazine, also released his annual spending report on Thursday for the period between April 2022 to March 2023. The Royals, as per statements, spent a total of $136 million to cover operating expenses and historic events, which had risen 5% from the previous year's budget. While $108.9 million of the spending was covered by the Sovereign Grant, which is funded by taxpayer dollars, the rest was taken from the King's Reserve Funds. The memo, which was sent to Parliament on Thursday, also noted that the capital expenditure had more than doubled from the previous year due to reserving based on the timing of capital works as part of the program. It also attributed significant portions of the cost to Buckingham Palace renovations, as well as preparing for monumental events from the Queen's Platinum Jubilee to Charles' coronation, according to Us Magazine. Therefore, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly considering dropping their royal titles after vacating Frogmore Cottage. Meghan and Harry have finally cleared out Frogmore Cottage and handed back the keys to the royal family, and the move has sparked reactions from royal fans, commentators, and historians alike, as some believe that the Sussexes have now said goodbye to the royal family for good and will never return to the royal fold as they have burnt the final bridge. While a few think that the Sussexes have given in to royal family, they won't resist the king's decisions. Meanwhile, some still predict that the Duke will finally return to the royal family and all senior members of the firm will welcome him. Few social media users reacted as saying that Harry and Meghan could use their exit from the palace as a victim card to gain public sympathy. The royal residence was Meghan and Harry's base in England, but King Charles requested that he vacate the property. The couple's remaining possessions were shipped to their California mansion this week, just days before the deadline to leave Frogmore. Meanwhile, it has not been confirmed yet that Prince Andrew will also vacate his luxuri luxurious home, as some fear that the Duke of York would resist the king's decision and won't shift to the cottage. The couple are not feeling well after receiving the year's biggest snub from their royal relatives. Meghan is unhappy for not being invited by King Charles to attend his first official birthday as sovereign, called Drooping the Color. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's absence from the historic event has triggered a new debate on social media, as some speculate and predict that Meghan and Harry would soon announce to drop their royal title. While some totally reject the claims, as they believe if it happens, Harry would be deported to the UK due to his admission of using drugs in his memoir Spare, it's totally unacceptable as per U.S. immigration rules and visa policy.